Hello and welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol and I'm so glad you joined us today. We are going to uh, come to you from our YouTube channel. If you haven't already clicked on that subscribe button, if you would do so, we'd really appreciate it. It's free. It lets you know when new videos are uploaded to our Bottoms Down Chair Yoga channel and it helps us out. So we're going to stay seated the entire time today. We will be using our yoga block. If you don't have a block, don't worry about it. We can do it without it. Or you can substitute a book if you want to do that as well. So in addition to, we're going to be working into that back some more. So in addition to our forward folding that we did in the last series, we're also going to be adding some back bending with our camel pose. So don't worry about it. I'll take us through everything. But if at any time something doesn't feel good to you, just leave it out. All right. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to move forward in our chair. We're not leaning back. So go ahead and let's go ground those feet first. So think about those four pressure points behind the big toe, behind the little toe, and the two points of the heel. And think about having all four of those pressure points firmly grounded to the earth. Next, we're going to think about grounding our sits bones. So those pointy bones that hold our weight when we sit, make sure that you've got equal weight in both of those. Next, we're going to think about pulling our belly button to our spine. So the minute you begin to pull that belly in, I want you to lift your heart up. So we want to think about extending that spine long. So just a really long spine. Shoulders are down. Close your eyes. And just breathe. Draw your attention to your heart center. Let go of everything outside of the room. Begin to notice your breath, just feeling that natural inhalation and exhalation. Move into your deeper breath, inhaling a little more deeply and exhaling a little more completely. We're going to move into our diaphragmatic breath, that yoga breath, also known as the belly breath. Inhaling, extending the belly as you fill the lungs from the bottom up. Exhale, pull the belly button to the spine as you push the air up and out of the lungs. Do that a few times at your own pace. and breathe normally. Go ahead and do that again. Think to yourself, inhaling to four counts and exhaling to five or six or seven counts. Go ahead at your own pace. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intention for today's practice. One more breath. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. <sighs> Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. And drop your chin towards your chest. Left ear to left shoulder. And chin to chest. Let's look forward, look over your right shoulder, look center, look over your left shoulder, and look center, and roll those shoulders up, back, and down, up, back, and down, and reverse it, 
Oh, yeah. Releasing any tension in those shoulders. Just trying to release and relax into those shoulders. All right. Good job. So we're going to come into Mountain Pose. We're going to extend those arms up. Stretch up towards the ceiling. Really stretch. Palms together. Interlace fingers. Palm, uh, point your fingers to the ceiling and stretch. Now, as you do this, those shoulders automatically want to come up. And I want you to think about pulling them down. So not only are you pushing your hands up, you're pulling your shoulders down. And let's lean. Now, as you're leaning, you want this opposite hip to stay down, okay? So make sure that you're consciously pressing down with this hip so that you feel a good stretch in the side waist. Let's come up and we're going to do the other side. So again, thinking about pressing down with that opposite hip, stretching, 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 all the way up. One more, lengthen, 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 and bring those hands down. Roll one shoulder at a time. And reverse it. Very good. Okay, take your left hand, bring it to the outside of the right knee. Take this hand back on the chair. Your right shoulder, bring it back first. Now, I want you to turn and look over that right shoulder. So I don't know if you noticed that, but by the time I got my shoulder back and everything, the turn ended up just sort of being my head. It wasn't even really that much of the center of the body and release it. So by the time you get this hand, let's do the other side, to the outside of the knee, you get this hand back on the chair, you get that shoulder turned back. Now, almost, it's just simply your head turning. We're stretching into the side waist, really a little bit of a twist here. One more breath and release it. Let's do one final shoulder roll. Well, it may not be a final. I reserve the right to change my mind on the shoulder rolls. All right, very good. Back to mountain, but don't interlace your fingers. Up we go, mountain pose. Take that left hand, bring it down to your chair. Now, I want those right fingertips as high to the ceiling as you can get them, keeping this hip down, and we're going to lean into it, holding onto that chair for support. And we're going to come up and we're going to do the other side. Really lengthen, 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 stretch, 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 and lean. Nice. Come up. Now we're going to take both hands up to the ceiling. Point your finger up. We're going to lean that mountain. Listen, we're going to do a little add on here. Ready? Twist and look up at the ceiling. So it's a little twist, just a baby twist. We're feeling the side waist beginning to work. You feel it? One more breath. Oh, uh, Listen, take the twist out. Come up and we're going to go straight to the other side. All right. Now let's twist and look up. So I'm just sort of trying to look kind of right, right around here, right? So I'm looking up towards the ceiling, right around where my arm is. One more breath. Take the twist out. Come up and bring those hands down and relax. All right. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Okay. We're going to do a few cat and cows. You might, we're really trying to make sure we get that back good and warm. And uh, then we're going to move on. So we're going to place our hands on our thighs. We're going to pull the belly button in, round the shoulders, tuck the chin. Feel the stretch in the shoulders. This is also just a really nice stretch into that back. Let's lift up into cow. Just put those thumbs towards the back wall. All right. Let's add the breath. Inhale here. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. One more. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. And release. Very good. Okay. We're going to begin into our forward fold series. I know we did this one last time, but it's super, super good. Actually, you know what? We're going to do one more little warm up for the back before we do that. All right. We're going to do these body circles. So take your feet, and I'm going to come a little bit further towards the edge of my chair, and I've got my feet a little bit wider, okay? My hands are on my thighs. I'm going to lean to the right, keeping both hips down, and then I'm going to come forward. I've got my hands here for support. We're going to come around, 
And now I'm leaning back. So that's why I wanted you to come a little forward in your chair so that you could do a lean back there. See what I did there? Go ahead and keep going. Big old circle. Big circle around. Now leaning back as far as you can. Belly is tight, right? Working into a little bit of core work there. Big circle around. But it's also warming up that spine and come up. Checking in. See how you're feeling. Because we're going to do it the other way now, okay? So we're going to lean to the right, left, excuse me, left. Then we're going to come center. Leaning and lean back, right? Belly tight. Big circle. Big circle. Big circle. Let's do that one more time. Feeling that back is warming up. We're stretching. The side waist is working and come up. All right. Bring your feet together. And we're going to do a couple of pelvic tilts. So it's this very similar uh, work in the back as a cat and a cow, but we're just focusing a little bit more on the, the pelvic area, okay? So I'm going to turn to the side. You stay facing me, just so you can see me a little bit better. So I'm going to take my hip tips, and I'm going to rock them towards my shoulders. Do you see that? How I've rocked it in, so my hip tips are rocking in. I've got a little rounding happening in my spine, and now I'm going to rock those hip tips forward. Now I've got a little back bend happening. Do you see that? Okay, rock your hip tips in and rock your hip tips forward. Let me move my arms so you can see me a little bit better. I'm just going to bring my arms up. You don't have to do this. Just so you can see me, what I'm doing. That's the only reason I'm moving my arms. All right, can we do one more? All right, and hip tips forward. All right, very, very good. Now we're going to work into our forward fold. So grab your block or not. If you don't have a block, I'm going to show you how to do it without. We're just using your body. And if you've done classes with me before, you've probably seen it already. But that's okay. If it's your first time, welcome. So glad to have you. I'm going to show you everything. You don't worry about it. It's uh, We're going to take you through every step. Don't worry. All right. So we're going to take our, our forearms and we're going to place them right on our thighs. You see that? So I've got a lot of support here. I'm using my arms for support. But what I want you to try to do is let that heart fall, keeping the back flat. Okay? So I'm not arching like we were doing cat a minute ago. That's, that's one move. This is not that. Okay? Keep your back flat and let your heart fall forward. So I want you to keep your head above your heart for this first one or two, okay? So we're going to keep our head above our heart. Our back is pretty flat, and our back is, you know, pretty close to that 90-degree angle, right? All right, tuck your chin and roll up. And just take a little break. See how that feels. You should feel the back. You should feel a good stretch in the back. We're working the back. That's what, that's what this whole series is about, okay? But we're doing it gently, and we're doing it, we're building, right? So we're going to build, build, build. And if at any point you feel like this is it for me, then just stop. You don't have to keep building. Kind of like my add-ons. You don't ever have to add on if you don't want to. Let's come back down into that one more time, letting that heart fall. This time, I want you to see if you can let your head fall, tucking your chin, checking in, see how that feels. All right? Let's roll it up and just check in. So there's two things you can think about. One is, how does my back feel? Second is, does that make me dizzy? All right? If it makes you dizzy, leave it out. Okay, moving on. Here we go. So the next thing we're going to do is if you have a block, you notice how it's on its end? We're going to put one hand on the block and then the other hand on the block, and we're going to let our heart fall. Okay, so you're like, well, Carol, I don't have a block. So you're going to stay right here. And then what you will do as we walk down our block, you're going to walk down your legs. So you still have something to hold on to to give yourself some support. All right? So here we are. One more breath. We're going to tuck our chin, and we're going to roll it up into a seated position. So we're building into a forward fold. All right? So we're going to tuck our block on the end. You notice how now it's a little closer to the floor. We're going to inhale here, exhale, we're going to come down with our hands on the block, and we're going to let our head fall, tuck the chin, hanging out for a breath or two, 
One more breath. Roll it up nice and slow. Checking in. If that makes you dizzy, don't let the head fall below the heart. It's fine. You can keep that back flat, that 90 degree angle. You don't have to let the head fall. It's okay. All right, if you're with me, we're going to move our block now closer to the ground. Are you ready? Inhale here. Exhale. I'm going to come forward. And then I'm, maybe I stay here. Maybe I've got my hands on my shins. Maybe I have my hands on my block. Maybe I keep my back flat. Maybe I let my head fall. And roll it up. I know I give you a lot of options, don't I? But that, I think that's good. So you've got options for you. All right, are we ready? Let's just move that block out of the way or not. Right? Extend the spine long. Let the heart fall forward. Are we ready? Put one hand on the floor. Put the other hand on the floor. Let the head fall. And roll up. Okay, so we've done this one before. Checking in. How's everybody feel? So the next thing we're going to add on is called rag doll. So in our rag doll, watch me real quick because once you get down into it, it's hard to see what I'm doing, right? So I'm going to take my legs a little bit further, well, a little wider, and I'm going to come down just like we just did, right? But what the difference is now, I'm going to grab my elbows and I'm going to let my head fall. You see that? And I'm going to roll up slowly so I don't get dizzy. So what we're doing now is by grabbing those elbows and letting our heart fall forward. Gravity now is kind of at an inversion, isn't it? And so we're pulling a little bit on that spine from, from letting gravity help. It feels good if it doesn't make you dizzy. All right, if it makes you dizzy, obviously you're going to stay right here. And maybe if you're here, you're trying to extend that spine as long as you can to get the same feeling. It's just not having gravity help. Okay, here we go. We're going to extend the spine long. We're going to let that heart fall forward. Let's go ahead and put our hands on the floor to begin with. Checking in, see how everything feels. Now, if you feel okay, I'm just going to lift my hands off the floor. I'm going to grab my elbows. I'm going to let my head fall. So you're tucking your chin, okay? You're tucking your chin, letting the head fall. Now, we're just going to rock side to side. And as you're rocking, I want you to nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Stop. Place your hands on the floor and roll it up slowly. Ha! Ah, how was Ragdoll? Did you like that? I love that. I think that one feels really, really good. Okay, so um, what we're going to do next <clears throat> is called Camel Pose. So what we've been doing is a lot of forward folding. So we've been uh, arching the back and bend, bending it forward. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to bend it the other way for just a little bit and then we'll go back and we'll bend it forward again. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me better. Again, you stay facing me. You don't turn in your chair. But I'm going to turn in my chair because I want you to really see what I'm doing. Okay? So I'm going to have one hand, and actually I'm going to turn, I'm even going to, I'm not even facing you for just one second, okay? But I want you to see the hand position. So I'm going to take one hand and I'm going to place it. It can be a fist or it can be your flat hand. Either is fine, okay? I'm going to place one hand right at the top of my pelvis bone on one side of my spine, okay? And then I'm going to take the other hand and I'm going to place it on the other side of my spine. So you can have fists or you can have flat palms. Either is just fine. All right. Do you see that hand position? So everybody get your hands in that position. Super important because this, the hands are what support our back as we move into our camel pose. Okay. All right. So now all you do 
It's not a back bend as much as it is a hip thrust forward. So remember a minute ago when we did those pelvic tilts? It's very similar to that forward tilting, okay? So here I am, I've got my hands here. I'm gonna to begin to press forward with my palms or my fists, either is fine, and then I'm gonna push my hips forward. Do you see what happens? You get a back bend, don't you? Do you see that? All right, so just breathe here for a moment, checking in, see how that feels. All right, now we're gonna release it and we're gonna move into a seated child's pose, all right? So in your seated child's pose, you're gonna bring your hands forward, let them fall between your, hand, your legs. Do you see that? They're just kind of falling here between my legs and I'm gonna let my heart just fall forward and hang out. It's not dissimilar to what we've done with our forward fold, but it's really, truly just trying to hang out and relax for a second, okay? All right, go ahead and come up, and we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna come into our camel pose. I've got my hands on my back. I'm gonna extend my spine long, and I'm gonna press and I'm gonna see if I can look a little bit up, kind of where the ceiling and the wall meets. So here's the thing, you never, ever, ever wanna let your head just fall, okay? And look up, that's not good on the neck, okay? So I'm always trying to keep this neck, the, there's no wrinkles in the neck, so I want the neck to be right in alignment. You see that? The back is what's making the, the movement happen and my gaze is just kind of, my head is just kind of follow, following along. All right, let's come back into uh, child's pose. So my hands are just kind of hanging out. My uh, elbows are on my knees, just kind of supporting. All right, let's do that one more time. Place your hands here, lift it up. Can you do it any further? Oh yeah, there we go, you feel it? Oh yeah. One more breath, come back into your child's pose, your version of child's pose. <sighs> and I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm getting a little deeper into my child's pose, right? My hands can be up here, my hands can be on my thighs, my hands can be hanging out. I just want you to feel that counter stretch. All right, let's roll it up nice and slow. Checking in, how do you feel? Isn't that nice? So not only are we extending that spine long, we're also bending it back. So we're getting that, both of those movements of the spine. And if you notice, we also did this movement of the spine, didn't we? So we have a lot of movement a lot of spine, spinal movements going on. We're gonna do that body stretch or body circles one more time. Ready? See if it feels any different as you come forward. See if you feel any difference in that spine as you do these big circles again like we did at the beginning of class. Ah, let's do one more. Now let's reverse that circle. I hope that you feel like you were safe in, uh, in being able to support your own body in those movements because I know sometimes we start talking about working into the back and the spine and people get a little nervous and I understand that, but hopefully you listened to your body and you did what worked for you and you had enough support that you felt like you could actually be, you know, have some movement in that spine. All right, let's go ahead and sit back a little bit I just wanna do one final stretch and then we are going to move on. So we're gonna do that half Lord of the Fishes. So we're gonna take that right knee and open it wide. I'm gonna move my, my little block is right there in the way. We're gonna take that left hand, bring it all the way across your body, grab the chair, 
Lift the crown of the head to the ceiling, turn and look over the back of your chair. So one final little stretch into that sideways, but also for the spine. We're going to release that and we're going to do that again. Come across, lift and twist. You'll notice we didn't do very much for the back. I mean, for the legs at all today, did we? That's okay. And release it. Let's bring that leg uh, forward. And let's just go ahead and extend that leg long. Lengthen the spine and do one. We're, we're just going to do a couple of pyramids because I think it's so important that we stretch into those hamstrings. So it's a lift and hinge. And we tend to, at least for me and a lot of people that I know, the hamstrings are one of those things that really gets tight. All right, let's go ahead and do a pigeon while we're here. Cross ankle to ankle, or you can cross ankle to knee. We're going to extend the spine long and let the heart fall forward. All right, let's rock our baby. And let's do that again. Extend and hinge. All right, and rock that baby. And we're going to do that one more time. Ready? Extend that spine long, let that heart fall forward, hinging at the hips, and release. Let's do the other side. <clears throat> Take that knee and open it wide. Bring that arm across the body, grab the chair, lift and twist. All right, release it and let's do that again. Come across the body, lift and twist. and release it. Take this knee, and I'm sorry, we're not going to do that. Take this leg, extend it out in front of you, toes to the ceiling, lift, and let your heart fall forward. And we're going to do that again. Don't forget to extend the spine long first before you let your heart fall forward. So important. Just to maximize the stretch, that's all. Okay, we're going to cross ankle to ankle or ankle to knee. We're going to extend long and heart falls forward and feel that stretch into the hips. Let's come up and rock our baby. And we're going to do that again. Lift and hinge. All right, one more time. Lift, let the heart fall forward, breathing, and release it. All right, sit back in your chair. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. A deep breath in. And on this exhalation, go ahead and close your eyes or soften your eyes. Imagine beyond. Imagine being able to celebrate the things you now criticize. Imagine being able to praise the things you now complain about. Imagine letting go of your anger and then opening your eyes to what the anger has prevented you from seeing. Imagine listening to someone you disagree with and finding common ground. What if your negative perceptions could transform into valuable, practical, positive insights? What if you could move past assumptions that too often have held you back? Much, much more is possible than you now realize. Help yourself to explore and fulfill the best of those possibilities. Expand your concept of who you are, of what you can do, of what is good and beautiful. Deepen your understanding of truth and your connection to all that is. Imagine beyond all you've dared to imagine and live in a place that exceeds your highest expectations. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Extend your left hand long. Flip your palm to the ceiling. 
and release it. Drop your chin towards your chest and release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Extend the right arm long. Flip the palm to the ceiling and release it. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. And remember, if you haven't already clicked on subscribe, please do so. We really appreciate it. And I will see you next time.